You probably noticed the score in last Sunday morning's paper, if only because of the wide disparity. Kansas State 62, Northeast Louisiana 7. But NLU is a former Division I AA national champion in its fifth season of 1A competition. A team finding out that building a foundation can be a painful process. Man, you guys are lucky. In most people's lives, they don't have a chance to do anything great. They just kind of go along and they have some good things and some bad things that happen to you. But they never have the chance to do something great. You've got that chance today. Whoa! He looks, sets, throws, pass, tip, intercepted by Kansas State's Dyshawn Carter. We worked too hard through two days. We deserve respect. As time looks, guns, passes, caught, lock it, side, touchdown, Kansas State. We made it the same thing they are. The hell with them, man, let's play. Bounces off a tackle to the five, Martin Lee's touchdown, Kansas State. It's now 61-7 Wildcats. At Northeast Louisiana University, playing football is all about opportunity. The chance to generate revenue and exposure for the Monroe-based school, to serve as the cash cow for a burgeoning athletic department, and more immediately, the chance to perhaps pull off a breakthrough upset against one of college football's top programs. I expect 11 miracles every year. Uh, I, maybe I'm the eternal optimist, I don't know, but I expect to go out and play well and compete every week. Since moving to Division 1A from 1AA in 1994, NLU's approach has been simple. Bring on the big boys. They've already played road games this season at Florida and Kansas State, both of whom were in the top five on game day and they'll travel to Arizona on October 24th. Those three trips into the lion's dens, though, will pad the college's coffers by $1 million in guaranteed appearance fees. Being able to play these games and being able to be in 1A football uh, really helps us from a financial standpoint to just increase our program across the board. In the first 60 years of our existence, the cash assets in our foundation were about six and a half million. The last seven years, has grown to over 19 million, almost tripled, without a capital fund drive. The budget for the school's 17 athletic programs is roughly $5 million, modest compared to most 1A members. But it is largely because of the money and attention provided by football that facilities upgrades for the other sports are possible. Now, I can remember when I was a freshman and sophomore going around campus and everybody would gripe at us because we get to go to these big games and they're saying that they're paying for it, you know, and you have to sit them down and say, whoa, whoa, you know, I mean, y'all aren't paying for it. We're paying for it by sacrificing ourselves. As a matter of fact, we're paying for some of your things. We're going to take it to them, call turnovers, and we're going to take it right back in. This game has got a long way to go. we got to perform like we know we can. We be not sad. For the players and coaches, financial gains are not the bottom line. As a 1A independent, they don't have so much as a conference title to play for, let alone a national championship. So their ultimate objective is specific, to prove they belong. We'd like to play in front of 80,000 every week. We'd like to be playing for the Rose Bowl or the Sugar Bowl. But that's not the reality of the situation. Of course, progress doesn't come without cost. Big 12 doesn't stand for the 12th guy on the field. Oh, oh, that is bull. No, hey, back off the field, coach. Don't, 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 don't back it. Don't back it. I'm, all right, I'm not I'm trying, trying to show you up here. That's, that. that is wrong. I know. That is wrong. Well, the Indians lost to Florida 42 to 10. And despite trailing K-State by only 10 at halftime, they wound up losing by 55. There is ice for the players to numb their physical wounds. But the true salve is knowing that their growing pains are the foundation upon which their program's future will be built. This program's coming up. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know if it'll ever be, you know, national contenders in the next 10 years or whatever, but I'm, I promise you this program won't stay in the cell. We're 2-2 two and two right now. We can end up 9-2. and two. Don't feel good about what happened today, but know that we can go on from here and have a great season. Don't hang your heads. Walk out of here high. Let's get dressed and get on the plane and go back home. Come on. The football team's move to Division 1A has financed more than $38 million in construction projects now underway on Northeast Louisiana's campus, including a $26 million state-of-the-art library and conference center. Gazing around the campus at the Capitol improvements no doubt eases the sting of those lopsided Saturday afternoon losses. Just ahead on page one. You forget.